Hello, this is Palico Pudge and welcome back to more RimWorld. And we've just survived our first raid. I'm not coping too well in all honesty. I, I, I can't seem to uh, get my head around all this. It's a lot to take in after not playing it for so long. But we have our first injured pirate prisoner called Nina. Who could possibly help us out. She's good at construction, which we're going to need a lot of. Good at growing, which again helps with the whole, well, growing. A good miner, and we will be digging into lots of stuff. And uh, she likes to punch people. <coughs> Excuse me. Beg your pardon. Now, she is incapable of intellectual and artistic, but now we're into the game. We can't choose uh, what they're incapable of or, or, or capable of. We've just got to uh, live with it. So she might be worth... Um, actually recruiting my issue at the moment is i don't have anywhere to keep her so i was thinking because we have this little inlet here we might just uh, do that there so let's unpause it i've uh, well, actually how injured is she just dying don't worry <clears throat> so she's been scratched by sadie but then again she was knifing sadie in the in the chest which is never good our faithful demented doggy. She's got a peg leg, so that means she's going to be a bit slow. She's knackered actually. She's bleeding at 61% a day, so there's a good chance she's not going to survive this, so we better crack on. So we need to go to structures, walls, build that, put a door in there. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> and then we need to. Cammy's fully healed. Good, good. Uh, then we need to get a sleeping spot in here. And make that for prisoners. Cannot set outdoor beds to be for prisoners. Oh, I guess I have to make that room before doing so. So, uh, hop to it then. There we go. So, Landale. Who's my doctor who's looking after Sadie, the demented doggy. They'll be eating. Ah, uh, yes, I was right, yeah. So before this happened, I was looking at doing power. So uh oh, am I all out of steel already? Oh no, it's already there. Right, okay. And we'll bring it all the way around here. Now I'm thinking about maybe having two coolers so we need to go to temperature install a, a cooler there and one there let that be built up how's she doing hmm not good not good who is my builder Beatrice. Beatrice, darling, you need to prioritise doing this. And on here we can start making f some simple meals. And uh, with three people plus a possible prisoner, as long as she doesn't die on me, uh, we should be hovering around, the, I reckon, about the 20 meal mark. So do until we have... 20 which should then automatically go into there so you shouldn't be worried about uh, power maybe I'm going to need to build some batteries maybe some solar panels what do solar panels take as far as 100 steel so if I put can I put those there Would it be better that side? Elephant self-tamed? Hang on, let's slow things down again. An elephant has become tame. It is now designated Elephant 1. Where's this elephant? Wow! That's a whole herd of elements. Ele elements? Elephants. 
Oh, jeez. So, trainable intelligence is advanced, and they can rescue people and haul, but they can't attack. Okay. Okay. We, we, we have an elephant. Don't know what to do with an elephant, mind, but where's my base? There it is. Okay, let's speed things up again. So, alright, now we've built that, let's put that for prisoners. So, Nina should be taken there. We will get Cammy to take Nina there. She'll be looked after. Right, so we have our dining area, we have our refrigerated area, which we'll set the temperature for. Target temperature 21, that's a good way of killing stuff. So, let's set it to. Minus nine's good enough, and we'll set that to minus eight, so it should trigger itself on and off. And yeah, we keep losing power, so we definitely have to build some batteries. Now I've built these with no gap in between, have I? That was well done. So let's build. Let's. I think we'll have a little room here to offset for batteries right next to it and then we can keep that all enclosed so in which case we need to mine all that that can all go how warm is it in there oh you can assign a tame animal to be trained in specific skills on its training tab no we're not worried too much about that for the time being so that is minus seven, minus eight. That's good. That's good. So stuff will be frozen and should last a bit longer. What do we have here? Oh, the dead squirrel. Oh, which is rotting. No, we'll leave that now. Completely forgot about that. Sadie back to normal. You, you well, Sadie. She's weakened. Sight's very poor. Hearing's poor. Yeah, she's knackered. So I'm guessing they're still hauling for the time being. A glitter world surgeon named Vlad Osborne calls you from nearby. He's being chased by tribespeople from the Lyra Bringa Goa. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 19 years old. That's pretty young for a surgeon. Don't know if I'd actually trust him cutting people open at that age. But never mind, I'm not one to judge. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the tribespeople on his tail. Well, it's a guaranteed colonist. I could do with as many hands on deck as possible. And... Oh. Nina's died. Uh, so, now we can't get Nina recruited. I think we're probably best uh, offering the safety. So, let's slow things down. Which way are you coming in from? And how many people are chasing you? Let's have a quick look whilst we're waiting. So, uh, not that good at medicine. As good as... Yeah, I've already got a... You call yourself a... Jeez. Call yourself a surgeon. So I've just put my entire colony at risk for a, a mediocre doctor. But, well, I suppose at least you're hauling something on your way there. And we have an eclipse, so it's a good thing we've got those solar panels. And here comes the raid, so... We have two. We have Rhoda Ballo, who has a short bow, and a peeler, which I believe is like a spear, with the other guy. So, get back. Get back, get back, get back. We need you. Well, anyway, here, really. They're attacking. I said they're attacking. My wind turbines. So they're going to be coming in from this direction. So, Cami, you are going to be drafted and going into there. Sadie, you're my crazy dog. You're no good. Uh, uh, Beatrice, you're my good shot. You need to be back here. You go there. Now, Landale, you are my melee. So. You come out of the way for the time being. Osborne, 
Are you carrying anything? No, you haven't got a knife. So go and get the shiv. And hopefully... Oh, need to pick those up at some point. Where are you going, Jer, there? You're just moving. Run, Landale, run! Don't get hit. You're my doctor. Well, I say you're my only doctor. You're my only competent doctor. Right, so these two are set up. Sadie's just going to daddle around. Come on, Beatrice. Come on, Cammy. Right, now they are being... Go! They're sidetracked. Go for them. Oh. Get! Get! No. No. Can't catch them. Well done, people. Get rid of that. All over. So, so Jer Bear is dead. With a peeler. And Nina is dead. Right. So, I'm going to need a burying spot. Where can I bury them? I don't really want them too near the base. So let's put them... Let's put them out over here. Out of the way. So we need misc, grave... And just for future reference, we're going to have enough graves to be getting on with. So, Beatrice, what are you doing? You're not resting. Go and strip Jer there. Cammy. Not looking at. Cannot bury human corpse. Not looking at burying. Just want to strip. I presume he's got. Oh, there's no gear on him anyway. Oh. We just need to bury. They're both naked. We've got some camel hair tribes wear off Jer Bear, God bless him. Right, okay. Let's speed things up again. So, uh, we're not doing too bad. We have Osborne now. We should probably look at. The eclipse is ending, that's good. We should probably look and see what he's good at. So he's okay at shooting. Uh, in which case, go and grab the peeler. Uh, you are a decent social person. You're good at medicine, I guess. You're an artist. Uh, and uh, you can research worst case scenario. That's not too shabby. Now you're a prostophile. So he feels limited in his human body. Dreams of going bionic. bionic. And a chemical interest. Well, that's fine. We've got no chemicals for you to be interested in for the time being. Lansdale has a poor mood. What's up? Witness a stranger's death. Slept on ground. Yeah, maybe I should look at building some uh, bedrooms next. It's all a bit slapdash, really. It's all a bit slapdash. I really need to build the... Uh, the battery rooms first and then we can start looking at uh, hmm. maybe I should build into here and have like a little communal area for our, um, our different bedrooms in here that makes sense oh god what's going on now and local iguana is gone bad where are you so you're coming in from the southwest. Is everyone out doing things? Osborne sleeping. Well, I suppose he has had a traumatic time. Visiting the grave. You can't be that tra traumatized by that death, surely. It was a stranger. Cammy, what are you doing? You're visiting a grave. I really need to build them something to do for joy because. That's pretty morbid. 
Oh, and now we have Leggett. Can we get out of the way? Melee attack. Can we? Don't get too far away. Uh, but saying that, you might as well bring the... Uh, I don't want to bear it. Can I, can I haul what? No empty place can feed for storage. Can we not put raw food in here? Well, how is Sadie sleeping in the fridge? Oh, oh geez. I'm, okay, and the elephant's moved on to Sadie's bed. That's that's why. So we're going to have to build a barn of some sort as well. Oh. Okay, I need to start prioritising. Well, first things first. Let's uh, <laughs> let's expand this stockpile to take up that little area. So that's that, and let's change that to take. We don't want to allow rotten in there. We want resources, and we want. F yeah, we've got food, corpses, animal corpses. Okay. We need to find a place for the tribal area, which is falling apart anyway, although it is superior. What, what are the girls wearing? She's got a jacket on, so she's okay. She's got a jacket on, jacket, and a t-shirt. Hmm, maybe we'll just store that. Right, I think I'm going to end this a little bit early as it's quite quiet at the moment. I really need to make a plan for the next one. So I'll, in the uh, time off air, I will go about just planning this out a little bit better just so I know what we can focus on for the time and for the, the next episode. Uh, but we definitely need some batteries because we have no power. I think that's a priority. And um, yeah, start maybe get some defences down as well. Our food's come along nicely. I uh, know that's cotton. Where's our food? There it is. 57% grown. So it's not too bad. Could do with it being a little bit better. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll sort it all out off air and then hopefully from here on in it should all run a lot more uh, a lot more coherently. So thanks for watching. Bear with me guys. I've forgotten how complicated this game is and how even more complicated it's become in Alpha 12. <laughs> so, uh, but as I said, it makes an interesting story. We're, 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 we're on the brink at the moment. We're on the edge. It's, it's going okay. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.